Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well. It's tough times at the moment for students and staff. I know it's hard for some of you, isolated, logging into lessons at home, not getting the full classroom experience and missing your friends. And it's hard for staff too, grappling with the technology and with the challenges of directing their attention both to those present and to those on Teams. We're trying hard to get better at that. I would say two things which are positive about the current period. Firstly, it's temporary. We are aiming to resume normal service after lockdown ends on December the 2nd, depending on the state of the pandemic and local infection rates. And secondly, many of you are actually saving a lot of time when you're at home. If you have a journey to college of 45 to 60 minutes a day, you're actually saving six to eight hours a week. That's a whole working day. You can use that time to get organized, to do work, but maybe also to take a bit of time off, go for a walk. The pandemic has hit local schools hard. The school in High Barnet, where my partner works, has currently sent home three whole year groups for a fortnight. And one school very close to us here has sent home the whole sixth form. Our aim through this 50-50 period is to reduce the incidence of on-site infection, to protect vulnerable students, to protect your families and to protect staff. My nightmare is that one of our staff or perhaps one of your families gets seriously ill and I'm trying to reduce the likelihood of that. The good news now is that the vaccine, the first vaccine is on the horizon. It won't get rid of the pandemic overnight. It'll take much longer than we would like. But I do think the prospects are good now for normalization uh, by the summer. We think that A-level exams will take place for the upper six. And you face the genuine possibility of a summer of freedom and celebration. And that's something to look forward to that's not so far away, just a few months really. We all want life to be full of joy and fun and excitement. And we do have moments of that, but right now it's more of a slog. The weather is cold and wet. It's getting dark early. We can't go out and socialize and the pandemic is still hanging heavily over us. But you know, when times are tough and the outlook is uncertain, there's one thing that is sure, one thing to cling to. We do our job. We do what needs to be done. Your job is to do your academic work for your A-levels. It might be hard, but anything worth the prize is hard. It's only a few months to go, hopefully, until the pandemic is over, until the first year of your A-levels are done, until we can look back and say with pride, we got through that, we did that, we were successful. In the meantime, it helps to have a goal, to visualize where you're heading. Most of you will go to university after your A-levels and it's not too soon to start thinking about that, to start doing the research. Explore Unifrog, which has an unbelievable amount of information and help. Look at university websites and take their online tours. Think about whether you want to stay in London or venture elsewhere. I recommend you leave London. Get an experience of somewhere else in the UK. Leave home, live away from your family. That's part of the university experience, part of growing up. This is a small country. Wherever you go in the UK, it isn't far. Liverpool and Manchester are only two hours away by train. Newcastle, only three hours. My American cousins would drive that before breakfast every morning. And think about the course you might want to study. And if it's a different subject from your A-level subjects, think about some wider reading or engage in an online course like a MOOC. Unifrog has a list of MOOCs that you can do. We will hold a university afternoon in the spring, in the early spring, uh, and a special whole week of activities about UCAS in the summer. But I do find 
it's really motivating to know where you are going, to have a goal to work towards now. We hope that soon vestiges of normality might start to return. We're hoping to get sports going at the college, which I know some of you are very keen on. We'd like to bring back extracurricular activities and in-person tutorials. And as this year goes by, and we're all ready almost a third of the way through the teaching weeks, as the year goes by, things will get back to normal more and more. But not yet. For a few more weeks, we need to keep our heads down, look after ourselves and each other, and do our job. Thank you for listening.